There are at least three ways to print barcode labels for standard time uh, to track time. As you know, you can use standard time to start and stop a timer with barcode labels, usually for employee jobs, shop floor, assembly, manufacturing, those sorts of things. You scan a label to start, you scan another label to stop. But you're going to have to print those labels out. And there are at least three ways to do that. As I said, the topic of this video is a report that comes in standard time that will print those labels. You can also use Microsoft Word, or there's a little app called Barcode Builder that prints on sticky labels uh, that comes out on uh, Avery labels. So let's go ahead and take a look at this report that you can run in standard time. And when you run this report, you're going to choose a project. And so when you do that, it will print out the project and the label, and then all of the tasks underneath that. So you see the tasks listed here, you see the duration of those tasks, and then you get the labels. So operators can scan the project name, the task name, they will also have to scan their employee name. We've got the stop label at the bottom that will allow them to stop the timer, and then we've got a clear label that would clear the display so that uh, other operators could go in and start scanning. You will have to install a certain font for this report to work and you can get the download link from our website but that's the font that you'll use. So let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the screen and take a look at how we can generate these labels. I've switched over to standard time to show you how that report got generated. I'm going to go ahead and click on the project tasks tab. You see the six tabs along the top here. Click on the project tasks tab shows you a list of all of your projects and tasks. You can see the one selected here is the project that came out on that report. Uh, you then see the two tasks that came out. This is actually a sub-project which is not printed and you also see the durations for those tasks. Now before getting into the report you might consider going over to the file menu and choosing project wizard. You can then go through this wizard to create a new project and some tasks that you'll be able to print out. When you do you'll be able to go to the tools menu and choose projects. Uh, this is the actual project here and see a list of all of your projects that are in the system. Of course the project task tab shows the actual tasks. So the report that I was showing um, is hidden away here. I put it into the management section of the reports. Um, this is a downloaded report, not a stock report, so you'll have to go to the Standard Time support people to get that. But um, just go ahead and click on that, and then click the Projects tab, and then choose the actual project that you're going to print. In this case, it was the H1904 project, and then just go ahead and click OK. When you do, this report will come up. It looks very much like what you saw on the paper. And you see the project that I've selected the label for that. Again, you'll have to install the special font for barcode labels. You see the actual tasks listed here, the duration, and then their labels. Scroll down, you see the stop label, and then the clear. So you can simply go to the file menu, choose print, or there's a little button here that you can click on the toolbar and that will print it out. So that's really all you have to do. These won't print on sticky labels. These simply print on white paper. Uh, they're not like the barcode builder app that prints on the Avery labels in sequential order. This simply prints them right out on a normal sheet of paper that you can laminate, hand out to the operators, and then they can begin scanning. They'll have to scan their username, scan the project, and then the task, and then the timer will start. Now you can, if you want to get a little adventurous, go into the design view. You see two tabs along the top here. The design view allows you to go in and take a look at the actual fields that are in this report. You might consider saving a copy before you do that, but you can see that these are just text and they simply use a special font. You can see the font here that we showed earlier that you would download to print this report. Go back to the preview and again this is what the report will look like. So you can ask for this report. It's free with standard time. The uh, support people will have to give this to you, but uh, that's how that report is generated. Very simple. Just click, 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 and out it comes.